Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this video I'm going to show you the rattling sound caused by this wireless ceiling fan, premium one. I paid almost 500 ringgit to get this 7 speed fan. I've changed the pre CB previously, but yet after a few years later, the sound comes back. To start with the repair, I need to head to the circuit breaker and I happen to know that this fuse 10 m happen to be responsible for all the electronics or all the uh, electric component or this fuse responsible for the electronic or devices in room 1 so all you do what happened okay okay right so that's the light is off now and then I'll be able to head over to the fan and dismantle the PCB welcome back to my youtube channel now this video will show you how to repair the capacitor that caused this fan to have a lot of rattling sound I've seen from the internet this fan tends to have a bad capacitor after two years. Now first I will remove this cover. First I will provide clockwise turn. Turn it clockwise. Oh sorry, it's counterclockwise. And then I pull it downwards. This is what you see. Then next I'm going to remove one, two, three screw one Wow, okay, it dropped down here So it's good that you have a magnetic tip One And I'm about to remove the capacitor. So I bring you closer to have a look at this. What? So I need to first remove this connector, followed by the one over here. So in order to remove this connector, this board is clipped over here and here. Now once you remove this cover, what happened? You could remove the uh, remaining switch. So you give it push and then pull it out you'll be able to disengage this uh, PCB if you turn it the other way around so that correspond to this capacitor C1 which is in the box okay and then by close examination what happened the adjacent capacitor which is this one here this is the one I need to change this adjacent capacitor turns out to have some burn mark. There's some burn marks here. So I suspect I might as well change this one as well. Instead of just over here. Now this is the adjacent capacitor that I found it rather hard to buy from the electronic store. Not every store sells this 630 watt, 824 joule capacitor. I changed this rate capacitor because I had a power surge not happened to my house not long ago. Otherwise, ordinary cases, you just need to change this uh, 0 0.1 microfarad, 275 watt capacitor. It will help you solve the rattling sound that you heard during the beginning of this video. So what you have seen here, this is the uh, previous capacitor, 0 0.1 microfarad, 275 volt. There's a dot here marking, and it's installed previously facing to the left, on the left hand side. But the new one here, there's no marking, but instead at the side, what happened, there's a marking over here. So I'll put it on the left side, and then what happened, 
flip it around, solder, cut it off. Okay. Okay. And then we install and test if it's working or otherwise the burn mark shown here, I might need to change this adjacent capacitor as well. So I will test with uh, this one first. There are actually six capacitor in this board. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I found that this one here located next to the one I've replaced earlier. Here, it turned out to have some burning mark. So I suspect that it's it's not functioning. So I get a new one, place it in here, and then uh I've soldered it. Here okay, already. I want to do it so I want to cut it off and then I'll, I'll give it a try. Okay. And we see what happened. So what you show here is uh I've closed up the uh cover and then uh, I'm gonna try out what happened if I change both. I'll change both capacitor. So this is uh, the controller I have. Seven speed controller. Okay. Seven speed. Third speed. Fourth speed. Fifth speed. Sixth speed. And the seventh speed. So there's no more rattling sound and now tonight onwards I'll be able to sleep soundly. I appreciate the thumbs up. If it were to be your first time watching my video, kindly subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video. Thank you.